guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am naomi and if you are not new here welcome back you guys so on this channel i talk from things such as travel lifestyle personal finance money management and so much more and as part of my series on money management in this video i will show you how to manage your money like a bro and also in today's video i'm going to share with you five awesome money measurement tips that will help you take your finances to the next level. Whether you want to get out of debt, save more money, invest in your future, or just simply have a peace of mind. These tips will help you get there. So as we all know, sometimes managing money can be very challenging, but it can also be very rewarding if you avoid some common mistakes. And here are some of the mistakes that you should avoid when managing your money and some tips on how to do it better. Number one is spending more than you earn. And this is one of the most basic and common money mistakes that can lead to debt, stress, and financial hardship. To avoid this mistake, you need to track your income and expenses and create a realistic budget that allows you to save and invest some of your money. You also need to live within your means and avoid unnecessary or impulsive purchases that can drain your wallet. Number two will be not having an emergency fund. An emergency fund is a stash of money that you set aside for unexpected expenses or emergencies, such as a car repair, a medical bill, or even a job loss. Having an emergency fund can help you avoid going into debt, dipping into your savings, or even missing out on some of your investments. But it can also give you a peace of mind and security in case something goes wrong. Ideally, you should have at least three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. And I know you may say, hey Naomi, where am I gonna get the money to save? Or I barely make enough. And I am understand. See, the first thing you want to do before paying any bill is to pay yourself first. And by doing this, you can start by saving a small amount of money every month. It can be $25. It can be $50. It can be $100. It can even be 50 cents. And you just save that money up until you reach your goal. And you can also use any extra income such as a bonus, a tax refund, or a gift to boost your emergency fund. But make sure you keep your emergency fund in a separate, accessible, and safe account, such as a high yield savings account or a money market account. And remember, only use your emergency fund for true emergencies, not for wants or whims. Number three would be not investing for the future. Investing is one of the most effective ways to grow your money and achieve your financial goals. Investing can help you beat inflation, increase your income, and overall build your wealth. However, investing also involves risk. And as the value of your investments, it can go up or down depending on the market conditions. That's why you should diversify your portfolio. And this means spreading your money across different types of investments, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, Funds, ETFs, real estate, or even cryptocurrency. Diversifying your portfolio can help you reduce your risk, balance your returns, and take advantage of different opportunities. You can also diversify your portfolio by investing in different sectors, industries, countries, and time horizon. So to start investing, you need to have a clear goal, a risk tolerance, and a time frame. You also need to do your research, choose your platform, and monitor your performance. You can also consult in a financial advisor or a robo advisor advisor if you need guidance or advice. But remember, investing can be fun, rewarding, and profitable if you do it the right way. Number four will be not planning for retirement. Retirement is a major life event that requires careful planning and preparation. Many people make the mistake of not saving enough, starting too late, or withdrawing too much from their retirement accounts. And these mistakes can jeopardize your retirement security and lifestyle. To avoid these mistakes, you need to estimate how much you would need to retire comfortably and how much you can save and invest to reach that amount. You also need to take advantage of any employer-sponsored retirement plans, such as a 401k or a 403b plan or any tax advantage accounts such as IRAs and Roth IRAs. You also need to review your retirement plan regularly and adjust it as needed. Retirement planning can be complex and overwhelming, but it can overall be rewarding and fulfilling if you do it the right way. The last one will be not having financial goals. Having financial goals can help you stay motivated, focused, 
and discipline with your money. Financial goals can be short term, such as saving for a vacation, or even long term, such as buying a home or retiring early. Financial goals can be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. And this can help you track your progress and celebrate your achievements. To avoid the mistake of not having financial goals, you need to identify what you want to accomplish with your money and why. You also need to break down your goals into smaller and manageable steps and assign a dollar amount and a deadline to each step. You also need to review your goals regularly and adjust them as needed. Having financial goals can help you manage your money better and help you live your best life. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this helps you avoid some common money mistakes and improve your overall financial situation. If you have any questions or feedback, please let me know. Leave them in the comments down below. I'm always happy to chat with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your money management tips are and how they have helped you. I would love to hear from you guys. And if you have haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos i post new videos here every week where i share with you more amazing lifestyles travel tips and tricks on how to manage your money better so until then stay happy managing your money thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time